Welcome back, LWT gang. So I got a lot of tea for you guys today. So if you are new to my channel, please subscribe now and click the bell for all notifications to come directly to you. As you can tell in this clip, I am definitely loving my sleigh. So be sure to stay tuned with me so you guys can grasp the ideal of what I did. So I look forward to seeing you in the next few clips. <laughs> it's wig season so wiggins hair sent me a wig and of course you know i had to slay on camera for you guys so right now i'm going to show you the unit it is a loose deep wig in the inch 22 i am super excited so we're just gonna jump into what's in the bag. I love the idea of them sending this flyer with the how to measure your head. I thought that was really, really cool because a lot of people are not aware of how to measure. So that was really cool. I opt for a size 22.5, which is a medium size cap. So right now I'm just gonna take the wig out and run my fingers through it to see if I get any shedding. I did get a little bit of shedding um, and I figured I would due to the fact that it's got waves. So, of course, we don't need that. <laughs> Let's proceed. Um, right now, you can see the wig has three clips, two at the top and then one at the bottom. And it does have the adjustable straps. Um, I was just checking right now to see how the lace is. And it is Swiss lace. Um, however, it is a little bit lighter than me. It's a medium brown. But... I'm going to put makeup on it later. Of course, it came with a band and some lashes. I do not need that band. Um, but I do love this bag, guys. It's so cute. So that's perfect to put your wig in later. So stay tuned as I proceed to show you guys what I'm going to do. Okay, guys. So let's jump right into bleaching the knots on this wig. I've already show um I've already did a video of me bleaching knots. However, I did want to show you guys that I did proceed to bleach the knots on this unit. Um it did come pre-plugged, but later in the video you'll see that I'll customize it to fit my head shape, um, my hairline. So right now I'm just spreading the oh lord, I can't talk. I'm just spreading the <laughs> bleach on the knots. Um and I like to use a butter knife. And I make sure that the consistency of the bleach is very creamy so that it does not seep through. So if you want to see a more detailed video on that, I do have one that I can link down in the description box. So just keep watching, guys. <laughs> okay guys do not mind me so i did my braids while the knots were bleaching and i'm so silly but of course i just threw some braids up there it's a wig you do not have to be so fancy with the braids right now i'm just about to grab my got to be glue free spray and push those baby hairs back well yeah the hair that i do have in the front <laughs> we already discussed that my hairline is a little thin so chill out sis <laughs> But whatever so my blow dryer is not working let me get right cool we back so i put my blow dryer on cool and i push those hairs back <clears throat> we good forehead is huge but whatever let's proceed <laughs> let's get into this wig sis yes those knots are bleached you hear me so the hair looks a little thin right here because it is wet i did have to wash um the knots of course <clears throat> So I did take um, a little bit of conditioner through the hair as well. 
right now i'm just going to proceed to put the makeup on the lace like i said earlier um this makeup is by ruby kisses i think it's a level 13 uh don't quote me i will put the specs in the um in the description box below so you just want to kind of spread that all over um, I only put it in the middle and in the front of the hairline because I knew I was doing the middle part. Um, however, if you want to do several parts, you put it all over. Okay, so we got the makeup where we want it. So let's put this unit on, baby. Ooh, child. Ooh, chile. Yes, ma'am. Get right there. Okay. <laughs> Looking a little like it's little, little, sis. Pull it forward. There you go. Okay. So right now we're just about to pin the hairline back and cut around those ears. And of course, I'm going to struggle a little bit, guys. So yeah, work with me. But we're going to cut the ear tabs. And I guess I'll show you guys that part because some people may struggle like me. And that's cool. Take your time. Take your time. So this hairline did come pre-plucked, but for me, it's not plucked enough. So I'll pluck a little bit on camera later. And not a lot because, you know, it's a wig. You don't want to have to do too much to it. You want it to look natural as possible. But, you know, minimum work, right? Right, sis. Okay, so stay tuned. I told y'all I was struggling, so <laughs> I don't know what y'all thought. Y'all must have thought I was lying. I'm going to let y'all see all of this. The struggle is real, baby. So, and yes, I do hair professionally, but when I do my own hair, it's a struggle. But I be so determined to get it done. So, just work with me, guys. Work with me. It's going to get, it's going to come together. You see what I'm saying? It's coming together. So, we're about to jump to plucking. So, if you're interested in that part... Stay tuned or skill forward, sis. It's cool with me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We still friends. <laughs> Drop some down in the comment below. Tell me what you're thinking. Okay, guys. So I didn't want y'all to keep listening to that music, even though it was okay. But you know. Once I learn how to put some dope music in these videos, I'm going to be, I'm going I'm to have y'all on point. So right now I'm about to go ahead and start plucking the hair. And I like to pull my baby hair forward just so I can see it myself. However, when I do it on other clients, I don't particularly do it this way. But for me, it works because I get to see where I'm plucking it. So if you are doing this at home on yourself, I suggest you do it this way. Yep, still plucking. <laughs> so guys, look, okay, so I wanna do something fun on my channel, like a challenge. So drop down in the comments what challenge I should try. I'm curious to see what you guys drop. Um, I do wanna do something fun, like I said, so yeah. Drop down below a challenge that I can do and I'm gonna try it. Also, just to add a tip, you'll see me turn on my tweezers different ways, but I turn it, so I turn it, I turn it um, with the narrow part facing the hair so that I can pull less hair. Now, if you want to pull more hair, you're going to turn the tweezer the normal way. I hope that makes sense. Um, 
I'll show it in my next video. I'll be sure to show it in my next video. But yeah, that really makes a difference when you're plucking so that you don't over pluck. You don't want to see a ball spot. So right now I'm just making sure everything looks looking in good. Uh Lord, I told y'all I can't talk. So right now I'm just making sure everything looks good before I get ready to lay. So stay tuned, guys. I'm a visual person, so you'll see me pick the lace up and then put it back down. So this is just me eyeballing where to lay the glue at. So therefore I can be precise with putting it on in the right place. Um, but if you're the type of person that aren't, is not visual, I suggest you kind of like draw a marking across your forehead with the eyebrow pincer or um, cut the lace beforehand. Um, but I like to do it this way. I just like this technique better. Um, but you do whatever fits and suits you. Um, it's all about preference. And you'll see, like I said, I'll be using that word a lot because it's all about what you prefer. This is just the way I prefer to do it. Um, so you'll just see me put on two coats of Bold Hole Active. And afterwards, I'm going to lay it down. Of course, I'm just sitting here just vibing. But you can't hear the music. Anyway, the... um the stick that ain't no stick what it is the eyebrow shaper whatever it is yeah the eyebrow archer yeah y'all know what it is anyway i like to use the back of that to smooth in my glue because it's very smooth um and i like it's easy to clean too so yeah i like to use that So now I'm just placing the lace on top of the glue and you'll see me press it with the comb and then I'll go over it with my hand. But a lot of times I try to use the comb um, so that I don't pass any oils from my hand onto the glue. Um, but hey, whatever. Let's press it with the hands. I like that better anyway. But <laughs> don't you guys do that unless you know you're cool with it. I'm okay with it. But if it was my client, it would be my comb of course so i'm just gonna keep pressing and i learned this technique um with tying it with the what's that with the band yeah tying it with the band from slayed by jordan yo when he did that it was definitely melted so i had to try it um so shout out to him for that technique and I think he learned it from somebody else. But of course, like I said, I got it from him. So, hey, I'm shouting him out. So, thank you, Jordan, for that. Um, and I'm just cutting the extra lace from the back so that I can put the clip into my braid. Because I'm definitely not gluing the back down. So, yeah, let's tie that band around that lace so it can officially melt. In this clip, I'm just grabbing my Care Care wax stick and I'm going to place it across the front of the hairline and down the part so that I can flatten it out even more and make it just so sleek. So you'll see me grab my hot tool, pressing iron. No, that ain't no pressing iron. That's a um, hot comb. I'm tripping today. Yes, the hot comb. Um, and I'm just going to help flatten it out. And I got this hot comb from Sally's beauty so i'll try to link that in the description box below as well and yeah you just want to keep flattening it as flat as you want and if you push it back in the front they give you that that push and lifted effect so you'll see it it's you'll see it soon
Okay, guys, so in this clip, you'll see me showing you the pushback effect, but I'm also trying to decide if I want to pluck the part a little bit more, and I think I am going to go ahead and do that. So you just pluck it to your discretion. Um, it's totally up to you if you want the part to be a little bit more wider. I think I think it looks good when it's not too wide and not too narrow. So, um, but that's my personal opinion. So just do what works for you. I also like to add a little bit of powder down. Uh, powder, Lord Jesus, help me y'all. I swear I can't talk sometimes. Powder down the center because it just makes it pop just a little bit more and not a lot. Don't put a lot guys, cause then it's gonna look crazy. So just enough and you grab like a narrow brush and just place it right down the middle. Also, the powder that I use is also by Ruby Kisses. Um, when I first put the makeup on the lace, it was the cream base concealer. Um, but when I went down the pop, the um, the part, it was the powder by Ruby Kisses. So I do have both, just in case you guys were wondering. And now I'm just flattening it again. But now I'm just trying to decide if I want to go with the look that I have now or if I want that wet look. So, of course, I opt to see which one I like. And I was feeling the wet, of course. So, let's put some more water. <laughs> and honestly, though, if I was doing a side part, I probably would have kept that wild natural look. Because I kind of like big hair. I mean, not kind of. I do love big hair. But I like for it to be like that messy look with a side part. But for a middle, I just feel like it should be sleek and popping. So I just put it um, some water on the hair. And I'm going to add just a little bit of Alpha G mousse to the top just to keep that hold on it. Also, I got that water bottle from Sally's Beauty. Um, and I'll try to find that link below as well. I think it was like $10.99, um, if I'm not mistaken. But it's definitely worth buying because it doesn't just wet the hair. It actually mists the hair. So I'll be sure to try to put that in the description as well. And like I said, I'm going to add just a little bit of that effigy on there because it keeps it light. I don't want it to be hard and weighed down because I do want it to get a little bit bigger. So... We have officially taken off the band. Look at that. It looks good. I love this texture. And this is a loose, deep wave. So right now we're just about to cut the lace, guys. Time to cut the lace. Let me shut up. Cut the lace. Okay, so I had to get closer to the mirror at this point because I was like, hey, am I cutting all lace? Because I couldn't tell. So, yeah, I, I'm going to get up, guys, but I'm coming right back because I got to see. Yeah, I got to see. Okay, I'm back. So, now I'm just going to press the front part down where I just cut that lace at. And I am going to blow dry it a little bit more just to be sure. Ooh, child. Okay, I see you, girl. <laughs> no baby hair. But, of course, I wear natural baby hairs on my hairline. I did not say that right. You know what I'm saying? See, I told y'all I can't talk. But my natural hair has baby hair, so I'm just used to that look. And I just like baby hair, so I'm a fan of them. Um, but if you don't like baby hair, you totally do not have to get it. Um, but, <laughs> like I said, I like it, sis. So I'm about to snatch them baby hairs. So, you know, stay tuned. Get your glasses. Zoom in. What's up?
So I like to cut my baby hairs about an inch or shorter. Um, and maybe that's like an inch and a half, whatever. Do what works. Um, and you're going to, well, I like to use the Alphagy or the Nairobi mousse to lay the baby hairs down and then I'll tie it down. So I'm just gonna let you guys watch me do it. However, I wanna keep talking and annoying you guys. <laughs> and I love the um, the black mega strips um, for tying down the lace. I find that they soak up any oil. Like um, I noticed some of my clients may use um, their scarves and they're transferring oil from their hair or whatever to the lace. So I tell them to use black strips, which helps because it soaks up any oil. And guess what? You could just throw it away. Or if you want to opt for using your scarf, be sure to wash it once a week so that you don't continuously put oil on your hair. So yeah, that's just a little tip, FYI. But right here, I'm just gonna lay the mousse. I got it everywhere. Um, it's okay. It's gonna dry. So yeah, just swoop them babies in. However you like for them to lay, you know, do your thing, girl, because I'm most definitely about to lay these babies. Okay, y'all, I tried to let y'all be free from my talking, but I couldn't help it. But when I was looking at this part, I was like, bro, I am too serious. Look at my face. <laughs> what was I thinking? I was too focused, boy. Look at me. I am too focused. That is hilarious to me, but whatever. <laughs> I am definitely laying them hairs. You hear I me? Mean? So I'm going to put the black strips on. And I like to double them because sometimes they will tear. I'm a little heavy handed with that part. So I'm going to double it and then tie it down really, really tight. So yeah, I'll just keep watching. How they looking, doll? I think they look good. <laughs> what you think, sis? What you think? Okay, get it right, Tal. Okay, okay. She's serious. I ain't going to be serious for long. Just stay tuned, y'all. I ain't going to be serious for long. <laughs> I just want to say thank you so much to Wiggins Hair. Um, guys, I really love this texture. It's really soft. Um, I wish it was fuller. This is 180 density. So if you want something fuller, I would suggest that you go with 200 or 250. Um, I like big hair and I love baby hair. So I would have did 250, uh, for a more fuller look, but for the most part, it's really natural and cute. So what do you guys think? And I don't have any product on it besides water and a little bit of mousse. Um, and that was Apple So it's really, really lightweight, as you can see. It's not heavy at all. Um, but I'm going to keep this wig on a couple of days just to see how it does with tangling, shedding. Um, I did get a little bit of minimum shedding when I ran my hands through it in the uh, beginning of the video. However, um, so far, so good. Um, the knots took well. Um, and I think I might have left it on for about 20 to 25 minutes, give or take. Um, but I was just braiding my hair in the meantime. But I'm going to stand up and let you guys see how long it is on me. Um, this is a 22 inch. And let me give you all the specs. I am going to put them in the um, description box. But this is a loose deep 13 by 6 um, frontal wig. 180 density, 22 inch, if I hadn't said that already. And this is Wiggins hair. Again, this is Wiggins hair. Um, and the packaging was so cute. Really love the bag. But again, Wiggins hair, loose deep, 13 by six frontal wig, 180 density, and a 22 inch. So, oh, and my cap size is a medium, which is a 22.5. But my head size circumference is a 21.5, but because I have um, a lot of hair, I went for a 22. So just to give you a little bit more specs on it, but <laughs> let me stand up for y'all. So hold that out. <laughs> yes.
These curls are so pretty, y'all. Uh, <laughs> I'll be cute. I'm gonna get cute tomorrow. But I gotta say, I love, I, I'm loving this texture, like no cap. Loose wave is popping. I'm looking in the mirror, y'all. <laughs> Loose wave is popping. You better get you one for me. Ooh. I can't stop looking at myself. I'm just saying. <laughs> Check me out, sis. I've been wearing a bun for a while and it feels good to have a hairdo. And uh, <laughs> I think I'll get cute. <laughs> Thank you, lovelies. Deuces.